Hey. Oh, bro. Oyaji, that's grandpa. That is not grandma. That is grandpa. She growing a, a beard. Hey, hey, let me get you some beard products. Let me show you how to grow out your beard. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know you got that peach fuzz. Let me get that. Hold on. How y'all doing, Jay Z's? It's your boy Josh. Welcome back to the another, the another video, to the, the channel, to the another video. Hey, bruh, you know the vibes. We're playing Tiny Bunny. What is this language? So in the top left corner it says English. There it is. All right, cool. We knew in a new bruh. series. I think this is gonna be a series. I know this game's a little long, so if you guys want one, you already know what to do. Support Black Business. Do I? Hey, hey, hey. Back black business needs to be supported. Reporting to aisle two. All right, shout out to my balcony. You see it, supporting black business. He was like, yo, or he or she was like, yo. And I was like, and then she was like, or he. And then he pulled out a Glock and that's not what happened, but shout out to you, my boy. We were playing this game on his request. Guys, look. Do I have to say it so many times or do I have to re-keep it peeing in myself? These are the indie games that I have on my list. So if you guys want me to add to the list, oh shoot, then please tell me a game that you want to see me play, okay? Right now I am still moving or we're gonna get into the, you know, soon. So do expect videos to be slowed down a bit. All right, new game, let's get it. New game plus. So there's definitely a budget on this game. Shout out to the creators. This looks really good so far. So it seems like it's snowy taunty is that an is that a word the window clawed at my window all night long it wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast the endless song we from all sorts of voices shrill gentle sneery twinned in the air they were shouting and laughing and arguing about something someone was running through the snow while casting long shadows that would occasionally creep close to my bed our house had a, a mind of its own the creaky old body of mind of a building that I'd seen a, a lot in its days, and it was seemingly trying to share its wisdom with inhabitants. Uh, the lonely house faced the force, and the dark green thicket gazed back to its hollowed eyes, rustling, whizzing, swaying back and forth. One could. Hey, 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 hey! Go back. Okay, there it is. One could come out and stand at the edge of the forest to reassure themselves that there was nobody left in the crooked trees, behind the crooked trees. The fuzzy silhouettes swaying in the wind couldn't possibly do any harm. It's just a play of the light and shadow. I knew it was my imagination. Is that how you spell imagination, my name? Imagine? No, SpongeBob. I was already 12, after all. Still. Still what? Oh, you see that, uh, you see the raccoon? Y'all see the raccoon imprinted on the ground? Ooh, hold up. We eating? Hey, my, ooh, mama, bad, ooh. She look like a, a Fenny Barbie doll. Like, I just got sponsored by Ulta Beauty. Yeah, keep talking, Barbie. Um, whore. Put away your book. How many times I told you not to read at the table? It's bad for your health. Look how slouched you are. Hey, shut up. Like, nigga, did I just catch you reading the Bible? Like, who your head ass? Hide. Oh, we gotta put it away? What if I said no? I'm a savage. Do I really gotta say- Who are you staring at? Um, put this away. Or, I didn't protest. And I put the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. I was stuck on a line. I couldn't understand after reading it three times anyway. Ole, I already finished for breakfast. And month. Bruh. Excuse me, sir. We have a mess up on aisle 16. Was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic and almost looked like her typical, your typical girl from commercials. You're not going anywhere until you finish it, all of it. Man, your trash ass British accent. I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes, as if I could make the porch disappear. Hazy, anxious, welled up inside, all of because of the previous sleepless night. The black forest around our whore, our whore, I mean house, and the gloomy wind. The longer I waited, the colder the lumpy white substance became. It looked like a uh, jellyfish from the Couste Odyssey. Uh, I love that show, but I hate the game. It's garbage ubisoft really needs to stop taking l's i wonder how horrified in the bottom of the ocean is if you disagree fight me in the comment section or how cold the black force is at night all right the spoon fell out of my hand caster's like man you nigga i fucking hate all 
Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. What the? Hey, nigga, why you sound like a bitch? The spoon fell on my hand. Mom showered me with a cold glare from her green eyes. Ugly ass eyes. What did I say? I'll get it. Hey, kid, shut up. Worry about your posture. I had 10 seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty porridge once again. Dang, and this was, and you can't even make porridge. That's crazy. The hell, Cap? Yeah, I know it's Cap. Karina. How did you get that from that, my nigga? Is it like backwards or something? No, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. Ha, huh. that's my mom's name. I guess she carved it out with something pointing when she was little. Oh, this is mama's table when she was little? See, you broke ass, still living, still living with your old she she sure was a rascal damaging the furniture like that she would scold me for a week if i did something similar though Ooh, you calling your mama a hypocrite uh, hippo should i remind her about it she's been in a bit of a bad mood lately i imagine her being my age sitting under this table i wonder was mom afraid of the dark back then or the sounds coming from the attic see this is the problem with some of these families at home these island pacificers they just like to go out in the cabin woods in those modular prefab houses with the windows open and then they like to go out here have a party in the in the middle of the woods and your lights is on and everyone can see your house like you look stupid yeah you you look stupid hey oh bro oh yaji that's grandpa that is not grandma that is grandpa she growing a a beard hey hey let me get you some beer products let me show you how to grow out your beard hold on let me get you some beer products real quick grandma. you see this grandma this is a miracle worker shout out to uh black business uh this is hawaiian silky miracle worker so if you try to grow out your beard here you go and then you got some wave new uh some finished moisturizer you know what i'm saying oh wait hold on hold on hold on hold on i know you got that peach fuzz let me get that hold on i'm, I'm gonna tell you how to get that peach fuzz going hold on. man's multivitamin hey hey look 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 it's all right it's all right grandpa all right it's all right grandma you know i know you love your men all right so you, here you go there you go you gotta get the multivitamins you gotta make sure that you all cooked up with that i think it's b2 that grows out your hair and skin nails and then you got the growth serum black castor oil you feel me you gotta get that going too grandma all right tiger is a special little place little girl it's watching you closely sniffing you out trying to discern what kind of beast you are you're a good sort it won't abandon you in time to hurry it up you're slow but if you're a bad apple it'll grab you by the side and drag you under the ground these were the times without mating maddening screams until late at night without the smashed dishes and the mutual accusations up oh, drunk drunk your dad yep our parents used to love each other back then i remember listening to one of their conversations by chance they were talking about my about grandma getting prepared for her own funeral she already bought a casket dang she's like i see thought in the future I, like what the heck is wrong with you can't do that she called it her cute funeral box well you got it in bedazzled and jewelry like it waited for its time in the closet patiently that nigga was anyway i was gonna that nigga was horny like god dang like you cannot leave a casket in your closet you're gonna start tripping <sighs> bruh don't do it josh it was black upholstered with meat colored material in the inside why can't you say red brown like uh, i saw it when my grandma was getting buried the house didn't change since the time she was alive only all of the photos were gone oh bro she's she's haunting the glass covered pictures with the gray faces of my ancestors they all had a dead but watchful look in their eyes i crawled out from the under the table olia was done with her cookies and was looking at my share like a sly little woodland creature i stomp her out we're like you don't get these tims girl i turned my gaze towards the frosted window there were a lot of dark pines outside they didn't grab my attention a pattern of frost formed a picture on the grass the glass olia look it's a fox what a it looked almost like those optical illusion thingies they put back at the on the, on the back of the student nook books oh yeah those freaking like shaders mixture of lines at first glance but if you blur your 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 vision ah oh, come on come on come on your vision a, a little bit and look under a certain angle not outside on the window look has the nose and has 
Oh, here comes Capper. Hey, eat up. Yes, yes. Yeah, just a moment. I don't see anything. Man, you're colorblind. Shut up. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Ah, there it is. But it doesn't look like one. I'm telling you, it does. Nuh-uh. It does. Stop it. These kids, I swear. Bro, you don't look like a mother, bro. You look like an actress mother. Where are your stomach sagging? Like, where's the, the, the stretch marks? I don't see none of that. No, I couldn't see the fox either. It disappeared. Went away. The only frosty patterns, similar to the stretched out nettle leaves, kept creeping on the glass. Oh, whoa! Damn! Look at Pops! All right, this boy looked like he piping his assistant, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, nowadays, rumbling doors, witty comebacks, were an everyday occurrence. So his dad just entered the scene, by the way. I skipped over those lines. Uh, oh yeah, always covered her ears whenever she hears something. What's the point in all of this? Through the wall. It's all for your sake, dad would, would reply. For the sake of our family. I always caught every sound in fear of hearing the most dreaded, the deadliest word that started with D. D I V O. I don't even want to finish it. It was scary to imagine that me and my little sister could be torn apart and taken to two different families. Anyway, your fox is nothing. I have an owl on my window. You and your owl, talk again. You said- You said you believed me just yesterday. Have anybody seen my card keys? I remember leaving them on the windowsill. Maybe you did. And maybe not. You're a grown man, father of two, and still. Karina, stop. Please. Let, just let me get ready in peace. Your keys are in the basket, along with the phone. Well, thank you very much. Anton, stop making a martyr out of yourself and finish eating already. Any owl? There was no owl. But there was one. It had a giant glowing eyes. Ugh, why you pull up like that? Hey, yo, can we sell this albino kid? We'll get like 100 bands for sure. Olia sprung up from the chair and placed her hands on her little face, imitating the pair of eyes the size of apple of an apple of an apple each with her fingers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the Seven Deadly Sins music. It is kind of weird though. Like, why is everyone else's expressions are not really being animated as much? as Olya's because Olya seems like she's getting more animation as least far as like expressions changing than the rest but hey hey it's just a little it's a little poke little criticism last year you had bye bye in your ch closet and now this owl but 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 I saw it Olya shift her gaze back and forth from mom to dad to me but couldn't find any support we don't believe you you a heretic have you thought about befriending it don't bully our girl she's just afraid to sleep alone because she's still little Olya pounded her lips in rebellion and rushed to the hallway it's not that deep girl Jesus, she think about she about to get a, a pop ring after this. Like, no, you ain't. Cry harder. <laughs> Kids think they, they gonna cry so much, they gonna get some redemption. Nah, you gonna get a whipping if you don't lower that volume. I need that bit, negative 26 dB max. The staircase that led to the second floor creaked. Okay, there it is, look at her. Look at that expression. Mom gave dad a strict look. Oh, that look at her eyes. It's so uncomfortable to be pinned under it. Dad just snorted and replied left. Rigging the keys Chief just found. A minute has passed and the thief song from the little mermaid echoed through the house. Uh, who gave this bit of JBLs? Are oh, we putting her in the auction block. It was stored on the incredibly worn out cassette tape. And these has to be like Germans or whatever. Some people, because it seems like the, the language was different because they are definitely messing up the... Look at that, they, they code it in Python, but they can't get it correct. Damn, what, what is up with this? What, why does she look like this? Oh yeah, I had trouble sleeping ever since we moved to this house. She can see ghosts. This is just like the ch uh, Kiki and Anna's the child, bro. There's gonna be that one freaking child that just doesn't know how. To Honestly, she reminds me of, of Anna, I believe. That, I think that's her name. She would toss and turn or curl it up in a ball under her blanket yeah i gotta spell that correctly sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the vcr cartoons helped take her mind off of all the troubles we had to move had with the move and our parents hey uh bunny son then oya would 
said she saw a giant flying monster outside of her window. She became obsessed with that. Her parents did everything in their power. They tried to every little trick to get rid of those ridiculous fears. Oya re refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her nightmares. After tonight, I was unsure what to make of my sister's words. What to think of it myself? Can nightmares be infectious? Just last night, I couldn't get a wink of sleep and I ended up thinking of what to expect in my new school. Man, this is why this is what I'm telling you. People gotta when you move to a new a house, bro, you gotta understand the area location you are at, and you gotta actually make good decisions, bro. Yeah, we ain't living in the woods, bro. There were a couple of days left before the beginning of a new term. My imagination drew long, twisting hallways that led to a classroom full of kids. But all the students behind their desks were simply dark figures cut out using a template. Circular holes gaped in the middle of their faces. Pairs of eyes blinked inside those holes. It was ex whoa, whoa, whoa. It was as some completely different creatures as they were looking at me from the behind of the black silhouettes. Ah, don't hurt me. The cruel glares and feel my icy sneers made me shiver from head to toe. Will I survive here? They won't gang up on me and beat me down. Stop on me with their bloody shoes. That sounds like a description of a New York nigga. The damn school can burn for all I care. I just wish anything and for anything to happen to it. Doesn't matter really what. I didn't want to go there that much. I didn't want to see the people who are just itching, who are just itching to smack me on the head, trip me up, think of new offensive names for me, worse than the previous ones. Felt like the glass I wore made me an outsider or some sort of monster. My gaze sit across the drawings, hanging on the walls. Small circle of friends, I I had also enjoyed my paintings, and they promised to call me from time to time. Sometimes I imagine my mom picking up the phone and saying a cold, in a cold voice, You've got the wrong number, or Anton is not around. I imagine my future classmates lying in their beds just like me, listening to the howls of invisible werewolves outside their windows. Maybe my new classmates will like me after all. Or who would ever like a boy with thick glasses? Hey, bruh. Clark Kent is out here slaying hoes. I mean, my dad used to wear glasses when he was little. Now he's married to the most beautiful woman on the planet. My mom. Uh, how you know that? <laughs> how you know that? Uh, the house creaked. Pressed on the, by the window. The wind. The condo we used to live in. A nine floor concrete building. Buzzed with the neighbor's drill. Mumbling with a TV set from behind the wall. Cried like a baby from the big next family next door. Our current house, though I can't really call it new, was completely different. It was silent, easy going during the day. Its shadows lay dormant in the corners, the closet cobwebs, and under the stairs. But they all woke up, woke up during the night. Something was watching me from every corner, almost as if the old photos of my deceased family with their ashen eyes were hanging on the walls in the place of my drawings. Jesus, the floor was squeaky. Rusty drains were moaning. Ooh, wait, hold up. One could think the house was performing some demonic melody. Then I realized I was, in fact, hearing music. It was already playing for a good while. Somewhere at the edge of my perception, I could hear the, a flute. It was mixed in with the sound of a wind of the creaking old house and my thoughts too. I stood up and rushed to the window. I wanted to reassure myself that this, was mu this music was nothing more than a product of my imagination. It's not like someone is playing it there. I'd miss the cold snowy night, right? Okay, so we get some interactions now. All right, open. There it is. Get some sun, sunlight. Oh, what the hell? Nix is dancing, bro. This is how we play with our meat. Native Americans are freaky. Someone was dancing in the field. Black silhouettes. I could barely make out. The forest, the dark, with the dark forest as their black backdrop. They jumped around in the bast in the moonlight. Bumped into the piles of snow. Rode around and crawled all on all fours stories about wolves playing under the moon came to mind but these were clearly not wolves nah nigga those were dire wolves they stood up right at times soaked around holding hands whipping up snow disappearing into the shadows for a brief moment then coming back something bizarre was going on the shadows dancing the starless abyss made my imagination go wild made me anxious at time at the same time suddenly music stopped uh, nigga, I pressed the wrong key or something like, like, like it, it was a sharp, right? It was a sharp, right? <laughs> the dancing shadows froze in place and I could swear 
pierced me with their eyes. One of the sil silhouettes immediately parted from the bizarre shadow Carbonal and sprinted across the field with, in, with giant leaps. Oh, whoa! I was not expecting. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. It glided on the sque squeaky snow without leaving any prints. That's creepy. It was devoured by the pitch dark shadow of my house, which became even darker and thicker. My heart was jumping around like a bird inside a cage. I shut the curtains with a swift motion and stepped back towards the bed. Wait, wait, wait. Look, sir. I don't want any problems, bruh. Hey, man. I'll give you all my food stamps. All right? They saw me. A freezing torrent of fear washed over me. I stood in the middle of the perfectly dark room, and I listened to some unwanted guests move and scrape around, looking for an entrance. The sound moved to the right, then circled around the house. Now my guests should be at the front door. I jumped to the, into the bed, covered myself with a blanket as if I could, it could protect me. The shackles of fear locked my muscles. I remember the funeral. My mama, my grandmother was lying there, hands across her, her chest. Her facial features sharp like an, that of a tin doll. Bro, this is what I... Bro, that's how it feels when you press the wrong key, bro. You just playing your melody like, Eh, 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 Bro, I don't, I don't ever want beef with nobody here. This is cr This is the first indie game that made me like, whoa, like ants running up and down the leg chairs, legs of chairs that held my grandma's casket. I imagine those little creatures climbing on top of her head and pulling out, pulling up her eyelids with their tiny legs. Uh, uh. Then her wrinkly eyeballs would once again move inside their sockets. She'd be able to see her grandchildren. I was chanting the spell she taught me throughout the whole procedure. And now lying under the blanket and listening to the squeaks and howls, I was repeating the same words. On the island of Buyan, under the... The music grabbed my throat right there, bruh. Oh my god. Underneath the blemished sun, in the sea of color, in the sea of color blue, it stands a cabin made of wood. Lay there, laid lord, an ashen hair for the spawn from the devil's lair to the feast, and it always leaves, always leave alone. God's faithful servant, named Anton. Evil must leave this house. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I cautiously peeked out from the under the blanket and saw curtains waving around like a. Hangman. Uh, is this Enderman from Minecraft? And then the house dosed me with a new portion of boiling terror. The sound scratched at my eardrums. In reality, something or someone was scratching at the front door, clawing at the wood, demanding to be let in. The door was shut. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing! What the freak? What the freak? My dad had become very cautious recently, so he installed a sturdy lock. I remember him staring at the forest intently as if he was looking for someone. Ashes to ashes, dust to. Dust! Hey, mama! Mama, what happened to mama? I hugged my knees, placing my chin between them, and drilled the door with my eyes. It was flimsy and weak before the might of darkness. Uh, sir? The doorknob twitched slightly. Hello? Then it turned halfway, once, twice, as if the person who tried to enter had no hands. Uh-oh. Oh, it's that direwolf nigga. The distort, the doorknob tilted once more, and then. Oh, whoa! Hey, hey! My booty cheeks clinched them. Bruh. Started clinking violently. My jaw cramped from fear. My wet fingers clutched the blanket. Woo! The door creaked and opened. The wind taught to me, moaning inside from the tin drains. Man, this wind is on on a lubricant. The door was wide open. Darkness wreathed inside the carnivorous mouth of the doorway. To me. This ain't Tony's Pizza, nigga. This is Anton's Viking Armory Shop. Like, bro, what do you do with I am from Valhalla? It was as if the night itself was calling to me, flapping its black wings and squeaking with rusty hinges. I was trembling, ensnared by the web of darkness that hung in the corners of my room, waiting for the one who'd weaved to come out of the gaping black hole. So my abdomen tightened, my chest rose up, ready to exhale the desperate scream. Before I was able to do anything, the darkness asked me, Tony, you asleep? Uh, 
Oh, what the? F Why are you calling me Tony? Nigga, I didn't know that was my nickname. Oh, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. That nigga's a chef shaped her. I don't trust her. My sister's pale face protruded from the thick shadows. I almost screamed from relief. I'm not sleeping. Did something happen? Olya frowned and sticked out her lower lip. A clear sign she was about to cry. It's Thel again. Stand at me. Shoot her away. Tony, please. Please. I'm so scared. The fear that was tormenting me just a minute ago crawled away and hid somewhere in my stomach. I needed to calm Oya down. It was a dream. Silly. Don't be scared. Dreams don't bite. No one's going to harm you. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you order him, you know, a, a large pepperoni meat lovers. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat pizzeria. Oya sobbed. She was trying her best to believe me. But I. But was I sure of myself? I have an idea. Let's go to your room and watch the video. Sleeping Beauty, for example. You like that cartoon, don't you? Why does Sleeping Beauty have a print and I have this scary bird? Man, you ain't Sleeping Beauty. You resting ugly. Come on, bro. Let that be a... Oh, that question took me by surprise. All right, let's watch Cinderella. My thoughts became tangled. Fuzzy. What was that? What studied me with its eyes while dancing feverishly under the moon? The darkness was clinging to the window, and it could be fooled by Grandma's old chance. It couldn't be f satisfied with the feast of the Lord and long ashen hair. Tony, you coming? Yes, yes, just a moment. Oh, whoa! Freak! Whoa! Oh, oh, this is a horror ending game. I, damn, bruh. It was meat lovers. It was only one. Whoa, okay, hold up. Hold up that animation. Whoa. Fire, 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 fire. Come on, bruh. That's why I didn't want to laugh at Olya and her owl in the morning. That's creepy. Who could be knocking on our door here in the middle of nowhere? We don't know anyone around here. Uh, mama don't answer it. So persistent. I felt extremely unsettled. Unsettled from just a silly thought that our morning guests could have come from the woods. I could barely hear voices coming from the front door. My mind was urging me to hide in the closet, under the table, behind the curtains, where Olya always hides. Bro! 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 Come on! Man! This is fire! Mm. Support indie games, dog. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Tony, come here. It felt like kettlebells were tied to my feet, but I still dragged them towards the hallway. Oh my God. Oh, German police? Russian police? What the freak? What do y'all want? We smell a black guy in here. A couple of policemen toward, towered over me in the doorway. They smell like frosted worry. My mom went... My mom always winced and grumbled at the moment she saw patrol cars worse than bandits. At the moment, though, she looked somewhat confused. Hello, senior officer, who wore a grim expression, nodded. A boy has gone missing yesterday. His name was Volva. Oh, snap. That sounds like a badass anime, nigga. Look at this, please. Have you seen him? The policeman held out a photograph to me. The hell? That an that animation right there, okay. There was a ginger boy around the age of a elementary school, pictured with the wall carpet as the as the backdrop. He had a striped cat in his hands and wore a wide smile. Okay, guys, I keep telling you folks, these indie games are fire. If you guys don't believe me, if you're still in denial, indie games are trash. You just gotta find these. Shout out to Balcony, bruh. Shout out to Balcony, bruh. I want y'all to. <laughs> Bro, I be trying to search for indie games, but sometimes I don't know where to find them. So if you guys have an indie game that you were like, bro, I think Josh will f with this, please send it through my DMs. You already know what I like. I like actually well-developed coded, shit, you know what I'm saying? Story written, story rich, whatever it is, I'm there for it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're gonna stop it here, continue off. Again, I'm going to finish area story. I already finished tomorrow, we'll be dying. So you guys are gonna see that later on in the week but you guys have to let me let me know bruh because these indie games are fuego heat you know what i'm saying so i'm excited i don't know if you're excited either way let me down in the comment section below as usual stay blessed keep head space strong and i'll see y'all when i see y'all peace